What's going on everybody, Nick Costa here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can clean a metal drum. A lot of you have come across this channel because of the videos I made restoring a 60s Ludwig downbeat drum kit. After going through the comments and talking with a few of you, I saw that a lot of you gained some good information on how to clean and restore a drum, especially if you're not doing anything too drastic like re-wrapping or cutting bearing edges. So I decided I wanted to create another video, but this time showcasing how to clean a metal drum. What I have in front of me is a six and a half by 14 Ludwig Superphonic snare drum. You can tell by the type of keystone badge on the front and because it has no internal muffler that this particular drum is from the early 2000s era. Now being that Ludwig is a staple in the drum industry, especially with older and vintage drums, you're gonna come across a lot of their metal snare drums. Whether it is a Superphonic in a five x 14 LM400 model or a six and a half by 14 LM402 model. Of course, you can come across a super sensitive or a black beauty as well. The one thing with older drums, especially if they are metal, they can get dirty and look a lot worse than they really are. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some of the steps that I take to clean off a drum to make it look a whole lot better than it does when you receive it. So that way you can clean up a drum and get it ready to play. All right, so as you can see here, we have an LM402. It is pretty gross. Not too bad, there's some pitting in the chrome. This is extremely common, especially when you have a drum that's this dirty. Most of it though is just dirt. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna completely clean this drum and bring it back to life as best as we can. We're almost at the other side. There we go. Cool. So first thing we're going to do is just strip this drum down completely and then we'll get to cleaning it. All right. Hoops are removed off the drum. Here's the one thing that I really like about this drum. If you look at the inside, it doesn't look that bad at all, which gives me a lot of hope that the outside of this shell is actually going to clean up really nicely. So now that we have the hoops and the old heads off, we are going to remove the lugs. You just need a flathead screwdriver, take all the lugs off, and then we'll have the shell. Okay, now that the shell is completely stripped, what we gotta do now is clean it, and my shell cleaner of choice for metal drums is Brasso. So what we're gonna do is apply this to a microfiber cloth and wipe around the outside and the inside, and then buff it off with another cloth, and it should come out looking as best as it possibly can, getting rid of all of the contaminants, dirt, everything else. So here we go, let's apply the Brasso to a microfiber cloth and clean the shell. All right, now with a clean microfiber, all we gotta do is just remove the excess polish from the shell. You can still see the pitting throughout the shell, uh, any nicks, stuff like that. There's a couple marks on the top where the uh, collar of the drum head was rubbing up against the shell. You can rub deeper if you want to try and remove them. Since they will get covered up when you put a new head on it, I don't try to stress too much, especially because if you do have pitting in that area, you can actually get more of the chrome plating to flake off if you rub too hard. So I only just do a little bit. If it comes off, great. If it doesn't, I just leave it since it'll get covered up. Now that that shell is clean and it's going to be the best that we can get it to look, it is now time to clean all the hardware. Now you could do the same thing and put Brasso on the hardware. I myself have the most luck with Eagle One's Never Dull. So I will just use that like I always do to clean off the lugs. Again, like everything else, take a microfiber, wipe off the excess. So you can get a better look. Here is what we just did with the Never Doll. Whoops. See, it looks really good. And here is one that we have not used Never Doll on just yet, but we will. 
Super easy to use. You just wipe, wipe on, wipe off. You're set to go. So here we go. We're going to do the rest of the lugs, and then we can start putting this drum together. Okay, now that all the hardware has been cleaned, it's now time to put it all back on the drum. I already put the throw off on, so we'll start off with the lugs. When you take a look, especially after you take your drum apart, make sure you take a look at the lugs. Look for the ones that have the most imperfection, and you probably want to hide them on the opposite side of where your badge is located, so then that way it faces you and not your audience. Not that your audience is going to be that close to your drum and be able to see the imperfections, but it does help just kind of hide them a bit. So here we go. Let's put it together. Now that all the hardware is on the drum, ready to go, we now have to take care of our hoops. So I am a fan of starting with the bottom. Um, with the hoops, they're, they're actually not in that bad of shape. They just seem pretty dirty to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run some Never Dull on it, some of that polishing cloth, and that should clean them up nicely. Now that the hoops are done, time to get some new heads on the drum, and it's done. And there you have it. Drum is complete. It looks pretty good if you ask me. Uh, obviously it has pitting. This is extremely common with any older drums. Um, even though this drum isn't that old per se, it is old enough that if it is not taken care of or if it is covered in dirt, it's going to pit. There's nothing you can do. So what I did is I outsourced this drum with a Remo Ambassador snare side head and then my snare head of choice, which is a Ambassador X coated. And there you go, drum is complete. And there you have it, a couple easy steps and you can easily clean a drum and make it playable. Unfortunately, with older metal drums, they do tend to pit if they were not treated well. You'll notice, especially on the exterior, some of the pitting will start to form because it's exposed to the elements and dirt, everything else like that. And if you don't have somebody cleaning off the drum or maintaining it, it's just gonna stay there and corrode the chrome on the outside. Really the only way to fix that and get rid of it is to completely strip the drum and get it re-chromed. Unfortunately, a lot of the times it's not really cost effective to do that. So your best bet is clean it off the best that you can, get it up and running, make sure all the lugs work, make sure tension rods are good to go, put new heads on it, maybe replace the snare wires if you need to, and you got yourself a playable drum. And that is it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And also make sure to leave a comment below to let me know what you liked in particular about this video. Also, if you have not done so already, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification as well. By subscribing to my channel, you are entered into a contest where you could win a free Skype drum lesson with me, where we will cover whatever topic you want to, as well as having the possibility of winning drum heads, or maybe some drumsticks. Until next time, see you later.